Today we're going to show you how to construct a graph. This section will basically consider of three parts. The first part is the structure of a graph. Before we can draw a graph, we need to work and identify the axis. In this case, to identify the axis, we are actually working with two numbering lines. And you can see on the whiteboard, the one running from east to west, the horizontal one, that is our X axis. But because it's a numbering line, you can see where the vertical axis or the Y axis intercept the X axis, that is our zero point on the numbering line. The zero point for the horizontal axis, the zero point for the vertical axis. This zero point is also then the dividing si uh, point between the negative sector and the positive side of the numbering line. To the right of the zero, you find we have a value of 5, a value of 10, a value of 15, and a value of 20. So the further we move away to the right from zero, the values increases. F on the negative side, the same applies. As you move away from the zero point, you find that the val values becomes um, larger. Minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20. And this is true because if you think about your bank balance, if you have a bank balance of minus 20, then it implies that it is a greater value that your bank balance is in the negative as opposed to when you have a bank balance which is only negative with 5 rand. The same also applies for the vertical axis. Moving upwards, you have the positive values, namely 10, 20, 30, and 40. But below the zero point, moving closer to the floor or to the ground, here we have our negative values again. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40. And then, in order to construct a graph, obviously, you need two values. You need an x value, you need a, and a y value. So in this case, let's say for argument's sake, at 5 and 10. That represents point A. And at point A, you have an x value of 5 and a y value of 10. But further, what is important is that we say to one another, Look at the intervals. And the intervals is the difference between the values on the various axes. If we look at the horizontal axis, the interval is 5. From 0 to 5 is 5 units. From 5 to 10 is a further 5 units. On the y-axis, you see the intervals is 10 units. 0 minus 10 is 10. 10 minus 20 is 10. When you construct a graph, important that you use the same intervals and that you have to plot an x and a y value. And those two values we call a coordinate. And if you cannot, if you don't plot the x and y coordinate, you will not be able to construct a graph. Part two, I will show you when you have a table, how you use the data in the table to construct then this graph.